What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman and it is no small secret with the Disney acquisition of Fox set to take place that not only are fans chomping at the bit to get the X-Men and the Fantastic Four into the MCU, but that fans are dying to get Wolverine into Avengers 4. So today we're going to take a look at all the steps and things that have to happen in order for this to come true. If you could grab the subscribe button, I'm giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole ton of other Marvel stuff. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video. I'm going to get into all the giveaway stuff at the end of the video. So like I said, today we're going to go step by step for all the things that need to happen in order for us to see Wolverine and Avengers 4. So the first thing that needs to happen is they need to cast Wolverine. For all of you guys saying, but hey, there was Sebastian Stan and Mark Ruffalo talking about Hugh Jackman and Hugh Jackman said he'd come back and... Wait, 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 wait a second, guys. Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios are not going to mess up their perfect cinematic, okay, not so perfect cinematic continuity by dipping into pre-existing cast members from the Fox X-Men world. You want to talk about an absolute mess that there's absolutely no way to retcon, and that would be it. So they're not going to do it. Not one single character from that X-Men cast in any of the movies, including... The current cast that's in Dark Phoenix, set to come out next year, will make it into the MCU. They will be completely different. There will be no retcon. There will be no same casting. So we've got to get a new Wolverine. A casting call of this magnitude would not only go to every talent agency in the U.S., it would go to every talent agency worldwide, big and small. And while the casting call wouldn't say, hey, we're casting Wolverine, send in a video, it would read something like, casting a very well-built scruffy, determined, rustic type, man of few words. If they knew it was coming from Marvel Studios, it would be pretty easy to infer from the description of the person that they give and the lines that they give if they were casting Wolverine. Now, of course, this would leak to the internet immediately. Channels like mine and all the regulars would report it ASAP, but that would be the first step. We've got to cast Wolverine. Now, the next problem is the super big one that I couldn't get past for a while. There are so many important storylines important character arcs and to be honest just important characters to take care of in avengers 4 how do you even squeeze out any dialogue let alone meaningful dialogue for a character of wolverine or any other prominent x-men status you don't that's how we do this you bring them in as an ancillary side character in a scene to add excitement to the scene without having to directly refer to who that person is and just assume some facts and set it up for a future explainer. And this is how we do it. So early in the first act, Bruce Banner gets his mind merged and we have the Intelligent Hulk. We go ahead and knock that out. Then somewhere in the second act, after they've devised a plan or we know what they're trying to accomplish to take care of Thanos, you send Hulk to a bar or a public place to retrieve a person or an object or to get something done for their plan. Along the way, Hulk runs into Wolverine. Q, you get the original origin story. That's right. Wolverine first debuted in Hulk 181. You get your initial fight. You don't have to explain who he is. All the fans already know. All the fans are super excited. You can insert a fight. You can get a lot done in the character dynamic explanation of Wolverine simply in the dialogue he has with Hulk about what problem he has with what he's trying to do. It would be super simple. You let it be as like a, like a very short side action scene cameo, and you don't bother to strictly address it. If they go trying to work in the X-Men, or the X-Mansion, or why mutants even exist, or what the origin is, etc., 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 you start a tangent that just opens up more questions and more questions. And even in a movie that's going to be probably close to two and a half hours long, the Russo brothers are too good at what they do to let their script turn into sort of like this amalgamation of other ancillary storylines that aren't integral to the plot of Avengers 4, which obviously is defeating Thanos. The one note that I will leave you guys on is that, yes, this does seem far-fetched. I know there will be a ton of comments on this video saying there's no way this is going to happen. Yeah, you're right. This was super hard to write because there is almost no way this is going to happen, but... If it was to happen, to me, this is the most logical way it would. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. How excited are you for the X-Men and the MCU? How awesome would it be to see Hugh Jackman suit up one last time and take on Thanos with the rest of the Avengers? Man, what I would give to see that. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're giving away this third 
Iron Man plaque. It's an Iron Man plaque from Marvel Trendsetters limited run 2500 limited edition plaque containing six original film cells from the three Iron Man movies. Super cool. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and comment on this video. Also giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros. All you got to do, same rules apply. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and comment on this video, and the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have a win in that PlayStation. So, my name is Michael Roman, this is Everything Always, and stick around, because we'll be posting again real, real soon.